What's up guys, this is Nicholas Colas Kimmin, uh, still here in Manila, Philippines, and you know, look at the flag right there, that's America, that's my country, that's where I'm from, and right now, uh, okay, so guys, uh, today is, I'm just, sorry, yeah, today is like November 8th or some shit, so today was the, oh, today's the 9th, November 9th here in the Philippines, but whatever, alright, so today was the election in America, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton. Now I hate both of them. Uh, just to get my political views out of, excuse me, out of the way. Now that the election is over, I do not like Hillary or Donald Trump. I don't think anybody who has a record of you know like where they could possibly go to jail, like Hillary with the emails, and then Donald Trump with the you know Trump Airlines, Trump University, the stiffing, you know the the small guys. Uh, he's not paying, you know, like the small companies uh, who like supplied pianos to some of his uh, casinos and shit. So I, I really don't like that about either of them. I actually wanted Bernie, Sa Bernie Sanders, but, you know, whatever. So I, I'm going to be honest, I didn't vote because I don't like either of them. So, you know, whatever. But uh, anyways, but guys, oh my, I cannot believe, like, you know, this doesn't even, you know, it's not even processing in my head that Donald Trump went from, you know, um, being on TV, you know, like, you're, you're fired. I forget the name of that show. The Apprentice. Yeah, The Apprentice, that shit. Uh, then, you know, now he's the president of the United States. I thought, like, he would lose, like, horribly. But, you know, I guess some people are just really... Like, when I was still in America, uh, you know, he really didn't... I don't, I don't even think he announced that he was going to be pr running for president. I left in October of 2015, so I didn't even know, I don't think, what was going on. But, uh, it's so, <laughs> I'm just, like, kind of in shock, because, you know, I really hate the guy, uh, from the bottom of my heart. You know, I hate him, but I hope he pre, I hope he proves me wrong. Let me turn on the TV. It's Megan Young. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I really hope Donald Trump proves me wrong, and, uh, He'll, he'll have to earn the respect of a lot of people, definitely, because the way that he was running his campaign is not professional at all. Some of the remarks that he was making towards, you know, Muslims, Mexicans, Blacks, some of the people at his rallies, at, at his rallies, um, you know, the way that he was just treating some people is not acceptable for any type of, um, you know, figure of the government. Uh, that's the bottom line. So hopefully, you know, he proves us wrong, he steps his shit up and, and, uh, and does some shit for America, but until he actually starts doing shit, um, until he actually, you know, starts making America great again, then, you know, I, I have no respect for him. So he's going to actually, he's going to have to earn my respect, uh, and a lot of people's respect, at least, you know, probably 45% of America who didn't vote for him. It's gonna have to earn their respect. It's the bottom line, but anyways, yeah. Man, what what do you guys think about this? Like, you know, you don't have to say who you voted for. I guess I don't, I don't give a shit because, you know, we already know who won. But what do you guys think of you know Hillary and Trump? Do you guys support him or did you guys support her? Um, what do you guys think? Like, do you, is Donald Trump gonna make America great again? Um, you know. I don't know how great it was in the past. You know, I'm not I'm not speaking like I hate America. I'm just speaking out of honesty. It wasn't America was never really too great. Um, there's a lot of other countries that are way greater than America. Uh, that's just me being honest. You know, I love my country still. You know, American at heart. But you got to face the facts. There's a lot of fucked up shit that happens in America. A lot of fucked up shit that happens here in the Philippines. And um, yeah. Oh, like for instance. Uh, I shouldn't really get into it. Oh, but, you know, I should. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, there, uh, what's going on right now in the Philippines is um, Ferdinand Marcos, uh, the, uh, what's it called, the, the dictator, I guess, or the, the president of the Philippines um, that was president, or that declared martial law in 1972 and was kicked out of office in 1986 through the People's Power Revolution and ETSA. But, anyways... Yeah, so this is just what I kind of think about it. You know, I'm an outside, I'm a third party source. Like, I'm not Filipino. Um, some of my Filipino friends were asking me about this at work, and I just told them this answer. Like, okay, so living on Namunga Bayani is a, is a, what is it, a cemetery here in the Philippines. It is for people who have served 
the, in the Philippine Armed Forces. So my opinion on whether or not Ferdinand Marcos should be buried there is, yes, of course he should. I mean, like, some shit that he's done was fucked up, and some people were affected by it, but he did do a lot of amazing stuff, but it doesn't matter what he did, what, if he fucked up. Um, you know, like, there's other people buried in the cemetery that, you know, murdered people uh, that did shit, but they didn't get caught. They're still buried there. Uh, I'm not saying, you know, that's not fucked up. That's really fucked up. But still, he served in the military. Um, he deserves to be buried in a military, you know, cemetery. Uh, whether, you know, think about it. Like, how much really does this affect, affect you? Like, I know a lot of people are pissed that he's going to be buried, that he's going to be buried in this cemetery. Like, dude, it doesn't affect you whatsoever. The guy's dead. You put him, you can put him wherever you want. Like, <laughs> he's dead. He's, he doesn't, he's not doing anything for you. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, some people are getting, you know, crazy over this shit. So I, I don't get it. Um, he's, he's dead. <laughs> They're just going to put his body in the place where they bury ex-soldiers. And he was a soldier in the armed forces. But yeah, that's my small little rant about something that, you know, I shouldn't talk about. But, you know, I'm a third party. I'm an, an outside source or, you know, an outside opinion on this shit. So that's just my opinion. Whatever. But anyways, what else? What else? What else? Oh, uh, yeah. So there's not too much else. You know, it's kind of boring. I'm just kind of, you know, still in shock about you know, the Donald Trump presidency uh, shit going on. But, yeah, hopefully he proves this all wrong. Now, um, hmm, if you guys made it all the way to the end of this video, I'm I'm doing this new thing, you know, so if you guys made it all the way to the end of this video, I just want to see who's really watching my shit. Uh, just say, hey, cool ass, or just shoot me a uh, just comment in the comment section below, you know, if you have any questions at all, then just um, please... Uh, hit me up in the comments. Hit the like button, please. Because whenever you hit the like button, then for some reason, like, YouTube, like, puts your shit on more shit. So then more people will see my shit. Get it? Put more shit on the shit so people see my shit. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna, you know, drink some beer. My preferred beer that doesn't, you know, fuck, fuck up my stomach. Send me a little light. Ty guy. But anyways, it was very nice talking to you guys. I'm sure you guys are sick of seeing my face, my face, my face. <laughs> Speaking like a fucking Australian now, I talk to Australians all damn day. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, they're pretty cool people. All right, all right, I might write out. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, please hit the like button, comment if you have any questions. Hit the subscribe button if this is your first time watching my videos. If you don't like watching my videos, then please, you know, go watch something else. I really don't care. Still going to be making videos. So anyways, peace out, guys. I'm done.